I detect a tinge of disappointment from you in, in your size performance today. Yeah, uh, you, 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 you're spot on. Um, it's, uh, I've got to say congratulations to, to, to Jürgen and, uh, and his players. I thought they were outstanding. I don't think they really had to, to play against much tonight. I was really disappointed in our performance. Um, you know, obviously, the unfortunate snip by George gave them a, a great start. You always look to get a foothold in the game, especially when you're coming here. But as I've just said, when people talk to me about academies and coaches and, and with the ball and, and this, that and the other, they won every first ball, they won every second ball, they ran forward, they played forward, they ran back, they tackled, they were aggressive. The technical and tactical point of view, um, you know, the difference between our game and the game here wouldn't have changed much, but we laid a glove on them. Uh, 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 at Bramall Lane and, uh, and we didn't tonight and I'm always going to look at our performance first um, and assess the game and um, you know whether Man City took a little bit more than out of us than, than what we expected um, people talk about coming into the Premier League and it's the only team really that's that's done that to us all season so you're 20 and 21 or whatever it is 20 games into into 21 games into into our campaign so that's the tiniest two things, the only small, tiniest comfort, comfort I can take from the games. This game tonight was that and our supporters, because we never gave them anything to shout about. I thought they were magnificent and uh, I don't have to I don't have to talk about them, but I was I was humbled in terms of what they what they gave to the team. And it's unfortunate the team never 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 give them anything back. Um, I should imagine coming to Anfield was always going to be the highlight. Or one of the highlights, um, and they've come and they've they've done the they've done the football club proud, and I'm just disappointed that you know we've we've not played in the manner that's really us and has got us into this position into these points total. Can you put your finger on why that might, that that might be, notwithstanding Liverpool's quality clearly, but why you weren't played like today? Ah, just everybody was off of it. We just we looked a little bit, you know. Uh, from a mentality point of view, it looked really hard work out there. You know, when when quality teams are popping it around you and you can't get near them, and they are the world champions, European six times European champions. So as we talked about Man City, we've got to learn. And I've said to the players there, if you you know, every time you watch, go and watch Liverpool. If you want to be a really good player and see what they do, you know, agree agree with it. If, uh, the, 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 the left winger um, is chasing back in the in the in the ninety second minute. Um, whether it was an energy point of view, um, and like I said, the Man City game just took a little bit out of us than what we expected. You know, we've had a tough tough little period. You know, Watford at home, disappointing not to take three points, but then you look at their results as well, the quality and the effort that we put in uh, against Manchester City, and we just never got going. And I said. Disappointed, we never really laid a glove on them and made it more difficult um, for them. But it's not not crisis time. Um, it's really disappointing because we'll, as we talked about the Watford game, we'll always look at every game in, in isolation. And uh, and and tonight, really, I, I didn't enjoy my team's performance, and I have really enjoyed at what we've done this season. Uh, I mean, and I enjoyed our supporters as well because, as I said, I thought they were amazing. Mm. Yeah. You've mentioned before, the, the lads have mentioned before about just the intensity, not necessarily as physical intensity, but mental intensity. You now have, a, or, well, I would imagine most of these players have a break now till, till West Ham to just have a, a recover, don't they? Yeah, they will. I, I was I was seriously thinking about putting a really strong side out on, on, on Sunday. Mm. I can't. So uh, I apologise to our supporters. What we'll do, we'll give... Um, the players that have not been involved in opportunity. Um, I don't want to happen um, what happened last last year, and it shouldn't do. And hopefully that's a one-off. So we'll be really working hard with the players that, that are available and we're going to select from. But I did, I genuinely, and I spoke to Steve Bettis and I talked to Alan, I said, you know, I want us to go, go and play. I think sometimes when you make a load of changes, it really is difficult. You know, if you bring three, four or four, three or four in, you've still got the nucleus of the team playing on the same wavelength. But you looked at the boys there tonight and they were absolutely shattered in and dead, dead and out on the feet. So 
Uh, there will be. There will be 11 changes for, for, for Sunday. As I said, apologise, but you know, they're back the club and, and, and hopefully they'll back that decision from me because the West Ham game now, now we've seen the Liverpool, two Liverpool games off and, and we've seen one out of, of the Man City game off. Um, now it's really down to, down to the teams in and around us um, and, uh, and the ones where we need to be a lot better uh, uh, against and, uh, and hopefully the atmosphere that, that have been, I've experienced tonight will be in a way replicated at Bramall Lane. Uh, I don't think there can be any complacency. This is, this is a really tough division. As you said, it's really intense, unbelievably intense. And when you're off it, you know, you really open yourself up. And when we're off it and we're playing the world champions, European champions, then we have unfortunate lights, nights like, like tonight. But we'll recover. As I said, I'm the biggest supporter of the players. They've been, they've been brilliant. I think everybody should accept that. And uh, but we, as I said, it just wasn't enough tonight for, for my liking. And uh, um, and obviously they've uh, they'll they'll, they'll have took that message on board. Yeah.